What's going on? So, what it's looking like is this weight situation with Devin Haney rehydrating up to 165 pounds is seeming like it's becoming a big issue now. They're making a big fucking deal out of this thing. As if Devin Haney was the only fighter to rehydrate 20 pounds in a fight. You got heavyweights that's fighting other heavyweights that's like 70 pounds heavier than them. Wilder did it. He didn't complain about how big Fury was, right? He didn't complain about any of that. Errol Spence, he was probably bigger than Terrence Crawford in the ring. Did, Errol, did, did Bud complain about that? Floyd was smaller than Canelo. Did, did Floyd really con complain about that? But here we go with Devin Haney. Um, for some reason, he is he's getting a lot of hate, dude. A lot. And I said in a video I made yesterday that it doesn't matter what Devin Haney does. It doesn't matter if he gets a win. If he looks bad in a the fight, there's always going to be somebody that's going to talk about him. It's going to be bad either way. If he looked bad against Regis, if Regis knocked him out, or uh, he he ran from Regis and all this stuff, they'll say, Devin don't want to fight power punchers. Um, he's scared to get hit. Um, he, he has a weak chin like everybody been saying. But then he stands there and fights Regis, drops him, hurts him multiple other rounds, Oh man, Dev is too heavy. Um, he came in too heavy. He could probably snack in. Um, yeah, he didn't get the knockout. Um, 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 he's 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 not as good as people say he is. He couldn't get Reed. Regis was old and uh, Regis was past the hill. He's 35 years old. You can't win. You can't win. So it's like this weight thing. They're now grabbing on to this thing. You are now seeing. I, I saw boxing websites. They're they're uh, boxing twenty four. Uh, there's some other ones I've seen. They're here talking about. Um, this is an outrage. He shouldn't be fighting this heavy. He came in twenty five pounds heavier than the weight limit. This is this is a this is an argument for bringing back same day weigh ins. I didn't hear none of this stuff until Devin Haney beat Regis. It's almost like. Nobody wanted, like nobody ex wants Devin Haney to excel. Everybody want him to lose. They want him to be stagnant. You gotta ask yourself this. Why nobody questioned Tank when he put rehydration clauses on dudes and he's this monstrous puncher? Why ain't nobody questioning that? But they questioning Dev rehydrating. Did anybody question how big Tank was against Hector? Or how big he was against uh, um, Leo Santa Cruz? That wasn't a problem. Because we know he got bit significantly bigger than he did. So every fighter got to come in at the same... Everybody only allowed to rehydrate the same weight. So everybody got to be the same now. Everybody got to come in at 10 pounds or 5 pounds. Heavy. Now what they going to do now? They going to try to regulate it now because Dev is winning. That's foul, son. That's foul what's going on. When I told y'all I don't respect rehydration limits anyway. I'm like this. I'm very throwbackish. I was taught growing up, if if somebody stepped to me, man, it, it don't matter how big they is. I'm going to knock you the fuck out or I'm going to handle you. I'm going to fight you, win, lose, or draw. It don't matter if you fucking taller than me. It don't matter if you got weight over me. It don't matter. I'm going to tell you a true story. Real quick before I get off Why weight To me um, Is such a big deal I remember I used to be like 125 pounds I used to be real light It was just one dude man Named Duke And and We would wrestle And I used to be scared To wrestle these dudes Cause like Everybody around me and my, we, They were all the same age Everybody was bigger than me bro And that's why I didn't want to wrestle When everybody said Yo bro we about to wrestle, and I, I'm finding excuses. I'm like, yo, I'm going upstairs, man. I gotta take my, I gotta take my my kale pectate or some shit like that. I go upstairs, or I gotta go get something to eat. I'm thirsty, and I'll never come back outside. You know what I mean? Cause I ain't want to wrestle and shit like that. The reason why I want to wrestle because Duke was big, man. And one time I, I did wrestle him one time, bro. And I made a big mistake. I should never did that. Duke had to be about a hundred and. 80 something pounds bro he was almost 200 pounds and this is when we was like what i was about what 16 something like that bro i don't know if you ever seen blood sport did y'all see that movie blood sport you remember when that big fat dude like e honda 
Remember he grabbed that African and he had him like this and the African was like this, chopping him in his shoulder, trying to let him go. And he was going like this, he, just, he broke his back. Bro, my man Duke, so I'm wrestling him. And as small as I am, nobody could ever get me on the floor. In real life, in a fight, I don't care how small I was, I always fought bigger dudes. Take note, Tank. I always fought dudes bigger than me, and none of them could ever slam me. I, because I, I always had solid legs. I always had good big calves and stuff like that. Um, my mom always used to say, "Man, you you got some pretty legs." My mom always told me that. You know what I mean? Um, but nobody could ever slam me. But motherfuckers was able to pick me up it, with ease. So Duke grabbed me, man. And he we wrestling outside, and he had me like this. And yo, he was squeezing me, bro, like almost like a bowl constrictor. So I started, like we playing, but I, I yo, bro, I, I got real. I said, nah, bro, don't let me go, bro. He didn't start squeezing my shit. And he had me like this, and my arms was flailing and shit, my legs were kicking. And I'm chopping this motherfucker, I'm trying, just like on Bloodsport, I'm trying to hit him in his fucking, in his shit, and I'm like this. <laughs> and he would not let me go. I'm like, yo, let me go, motherfucker, get, get off me, son, get the fuck off me, so. Motherfucker ain't let me go spit in his face. Just like that. Then he let go, wiped, grabbed him, slammed him in the dirt. We start fighting and shit. And I got real. He's like, yo, so they play you. Yo, yo, why you getting real? Son, nigga, I had asthma. So I had asthma too. Why you, you crushing my shit, bro? I told you, to let me the fuck go. So we ended up fighting and shit, and I fucked him up. You know what I mean? As big as he was, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't fuck with these. Um, so... That is why I always say, um, yeah, like, weight is important to me, but at the same time, it shouldn't fucking matter. Because win, lose, or draw, you fight. That motherfucker was crushing the life out of me, bro. He would have, I mean, he wasn't gonna kill me, but you never know. I got, when you got asthma, you can't take them chances, man. I had asthma, I outgrew it. But that shit, that shit was crazy, bro. And, and it, it never took long. It took very little to get me in, like like angry. Like I got older and I tamed it a little bit, but when I was younger, a little small thing would get me upset and I, I'll fight. Um, you have to push my buttons, but if you keep pushing them, once I get in the fight mode, there's no stopping me. That's how I always been, and I'm the same way now. Oh, I'm older now, so it's harder to get me upset. But if you keep pushing my buttons, um, then. And, and I feel like there ain't no other outlet Then it is what it is at that point But um, yeah Weight In real life motherfuckers might have that argument A little bit but in boxing Man come on bro come on fight But even in real life You know what I mean I just told y'all Who cares and I mean if somebody Pressing you you fight I was taught to fight I thought Tank was from Baltimore where They fight you know what I'm saying? Baltimore dudes ain't no suckers. So what happened to that? What happened to that? You know? Come on, man. What happened to, this, to the Baltimore attitude and tank? Go get them. You a killer. I don't care how big you are. I'm from B-more, and I'm going to rock your shit. What happened to that, tank? Oh, I guess tank ain't got that killer in them, huh? Guess not. Anyway, it's a, it's a shame they're doing in Dev. I hope this whole thing blow over. But then, then again, I hope they don't make an example out of Dev with this weight stuff. And try to come up with these weird ass boxing rules on how heavy a fight can come in, a fighter can come in. Cause I'm like, these dudes is weighing in. They making the weight for the division. You can't control how much fucking weight you gain when you rehydrate. Or can you? I guess unless you can, like you're, you're drinking a lot of water and and um, Gatorade or not Gatorade. What's the other shit? The the le the Pedialyte and all that shit to gain weight. You know, they limit how much you could drink to blow up. But that's come on. Why wouldn't you want your fighter to be a hundred percent blown up to whatever they is? Let them gain whatever weight they're gonna gain, and. The, the the disadvantages is gonna show naturally anyway for whatever fighter. Like if one fighter get heavier, he get like thirty pounds hydrated. 
and then he starts slowing down. That's his problem. That's what I'm about. The next fight or the other fighter, he gained his speed or his, his power increases. Okay. And then the other fighter, his power increases. So we, we both of y'all in the ring, y'all hitting harder. What's the fucking problem? And I don't want to hear this though. Well, look what happened to all them Dadashev and all. Bro, you can get killed in the ring anyway. It don't matter how heavy somebody is. You can kill somebody. A 130 pounder can kill somebody that's a welterweight if you hit him the right way. Miss me with that shit, bro. That's all I got for y'all today, man. This is Rebel Life, man. I love y'all. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Talk to me. And I'll catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm off this.